Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. When we last left off, uh, we had gone to the Quarian fleet because uh, apparently Tally was on trial for treason. The trial really had very little to do with Tally and a lot to do with political infighting and wonderful things like that and what to do about the Geth. And mostly we shot and shot Geth and shouted down politicians. Still sounds like a good time in my book. That being said though, uh, it's time to tackle one more loyalty mission here. And, well, playing by the rules that I've uh, made for myself because I don't know why I did that to be honest. Actually, no, I know why I did it, I just, you know, in hindsight it seemed like a really arbitrary set of rules. We are now, pardon me, we are now going to be going to Tuchanka. Deal with Grunt, who's a little stressed out right now. First things first, though. Look at that. Yellow. Yellow. Not yet. Yellow. Not yellow. Yellow. Not yellow. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Uh, probably should have done this, but of course going to take Grunt. And let's see who we're going to be bringing along with us. Because we're not actually going to Grunt's loyalty mission quite yet. We are uh, first going to just be landing on Tuchanka. So, yeah. Uh, where is it? There we go. 2d12. 5. Oh, wait, no. 1d12. They're already grunt. 6. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Garrus! Alright, Garrus, buddy. But yeah. We actually have to go initiate Grunt's quest, but bringing him along to do that is a lot more entertaining and might actually be essential. So, we're going to do it. Yeah, sure, okay, let's go with that, I don't know. Welcome to Tichanka, a place that really feels worth fighting for. Oh, hey! Okay. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. Yeah, we'll get to you in a moment. I want to talk to this dude. Krogan with the bad poetry. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Ah, oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the Chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. Oh, nice to know they're doing well, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so what do you want to talk? No. Oh. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Boy, you're helpful. Get the feeling that'd probably be the general attitude around here. I mean, these are Krogan. They tend not to like the other races. With good reason, admittedly. Scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Ow. Ah. Ow. That just sounds painful. Does me that sound painful? Yeah. Alright, so I guess we should go talk with the clan chief. Or go take a look around the environment, I guess. Mm. This. 
the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Alright then. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> How do I... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. A big one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah. The benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen. Always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka. But you're an exception. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite Warlords. But you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. 
who cures a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescence? Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I kind of like Garrus' plan better. But, you know... That... Actually, that could either go really well or really poorly. Honestly, I'm not sure which. So let's take a quick look around Tuchanka. First thing we're gonna do... Were you around when the female camps and the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attendant. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. That was seeming out of nowhere. But yeah, first thing we want to do is talk. Looks like Gers finally found someone to follow around. We'll talk about him in a moment. First, let's talk to this Ratch guy here. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot, except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Okay, so this is Urz. He's a Varen. He's a kind of strafey, pretty looking Varen. As much as Varen can be pretty looking. Good and you can Varen. pet him. Stay. There's actually a reason to interact with that Varen. You're the looking to get easy money. Years from the right. hmm? Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son? Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. Now it's got to feel like, a, especially cool as a you know, Krogan, where, you know, reading isn't a thing that happens all that much. But yeah, with Urz, you see, here's this. It's a pit fight gambling station. Put down some real money, human. And you can bet on Varen. The white, blue hope for the red-brown thunder. You can bet some credits. <laughs> And 
you can usually lose money. Pretty much just a 50-50, hey, I put down 250 credits, I might get back 500 or I might lose everything. It's a 50-50 shot. If you talk to, you know, feed, I think you actually need to buy something to feed Urs. You can actually have him fight in there and he always wins. I think when you bet it's like you, there's a small it, amount. Oh, shut up. I think it's like you don't win as much if you use him, but it's a guaranteed win. So if you really need to get credits, that's a thing you can do. That mechanic has nothing to do with anything we're going to be doing here. If you do one of the other loyalty missions that happens here on Tuchanka, that he becomes more relevant. But yeah. Main thing we want to do is to come into here. There's that guy. He's basically the lead scientist of uh, Clan Erdnot. Doesn't have much to say except that, you know, doing crop research and stuff is not his thing. He just wants to make bombs. And also do this. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to put that in there, but I'm amused enough that it works for me. Should you be in here? Does it matter? You got a store in here. You want people in here? Don't put a store in here. And let's see. Biotic damage, shotgun damage, maybe pistol damage. These are all kind of expensive. Not bad things to have, but yeah, we'll hold we'll hold out on that. The main thing that we want to do is let's run all the way over there. Shut up. Oh, first we want to see what Garrus has to say about the defense turrets here. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnod can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Hmm, so you give it a vermin and you train your soldiers to be better shots. Nifty. Okay, so let's go get that discount. Let's see what the human can do. So this is a pretty basic little thing. Hijacks will come out of those little holes, and you've got to stop them from reaching the bottom of the screen by firing missiles at them. This actually works a lot better on consoles because you're actually using the what's it left analog stick to aim, whereas here you're using Wazzy to aim this cursor. And yes, that is incredibly awkward. Why did you ask? <laughs> and yeah, pretty much. Oh, and you'll notice that the missiles change what side they are being launched from. You've also got a limited supply of missiles, so be aware of that. Oh, shit, that uh, didn't work. And if any uh, projects get to the bottom of the screen, you, the food store's gauge goes down. If it empties, you fail. You will have a limited amount of ammunition, as you can see there in the corner. So they generally give you way more ammunition than you're actually going to need unless you're a completely terrible shot. But considering it's explosives and it hits an area, really you have to like try to miss almost in this. That or not pay attention to which side the missile is coming from and make some stupid decision like I did in the last one. But as you saw, even then it wasn't hurting me too much. I still killed all of the pyjacks without a single one getting through. And to win the mini game and thus get the discount, you need to survive either three or four waves, I think. I honestly don't remember. It's a pretty basic little endeavor, but it's a little bit more involved than the random uh, par or the random charm and intimidate checks of getting discounts in any other store in the game. So you know it has that in its favor. Oh, two for one. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I still got a hijack with that missile, so it's all good in the hood. Also, each round is actually you have to kill a certain number of pie jacks. So if like, you let a pie jack through, it still you still have to kill 
that pie jack just spawns more pie jacks. But yeah, so we have earned ourselves a discount. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Is that a good enough reason? Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. I didn't get to talk with them. That sounds almost depressing. And then again, it might just be the atmosphere of kind of depressing around. in general out here. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. Oh, I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Woo, we also got 40 experience points. So useful. So yeah, pie jack meat, that's what you can feed Urs. You get the specifics of how you get him to go into the pit, but honestly, it's basically you can get infinite money, but it's such a slow rate and... Money isn't useless, necessarily, at this stage of the game. Ooh, uh, yes please, extra heavy weapon ammo. This should come in handy. Uh, shields, negotiation bonus, asymmetric defense layer, or bath, not bath, <laughs> health, and shields. You know what? I'm not even gonna buy other on them. I've got my armor configured the way I want it. And all those fancy upgrades at the other shop are far more useful. Female clan for right of parentage. Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I could teach him to hunt. The, the best way to shoot a gun. To fight with honor and savagery. Eh, you can do that next time they bring the children over. It's not the same. I don't know. But yeah. Because these are kind of the last stores in the... In the game that I don't have... That I haven't bought everything out of, so... You know... I want to save my money for the useful stuff out of what's there. You see that special they had on the extra net? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special vid on the Citadel. Alright, whatever. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here if that's what you want. Don't be a fool. They were honoring our fight against the rat. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Genophage. You kinda got a point there. I'll tear you apart! You don't have the plates to try. And there you can see some Krogan fighting for no reason. Watch it, human. Alright. You go beyond yourself, Gatatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. <sniffs> Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. Hmm. There's some fire. And from an alien. Oh, the shame this heaps on those who whine like pups. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. Hmm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens... And some Krogan do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. 
you. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. She understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Anyone else, having, anyone else out there having a craving for egg salad suddenly? Or is it just me? I feel like it's just me. Alright. This is going to give us another uh, team selection prompt. Let's do another D12. One. You know, I'm not too upset about this option. Let's come out of... Uh, close off our options as far as what we're going to be doing next time. Well, maybe. I don't know. It feels like we're probably getting close to that time limit. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's take the crazed mercenary and the Krogan on a test and thing for Krogan. I, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, really nothing to spend our, money, or spend our points on here. So let's go. All right, Madoc. All right, this sounds good. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Let's key not. Though. Let's first pick up some stuff. Because after all, money does still have some functionality here. So we want to get as much of that as we can. Hit the keystone. I will turn this car around if you don't stop talking. Also... Yeah, okay. Switch up! Change weapons! Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Got it. And this, of course, also we're searching around for the stuff that we can pick up. Items and money and all that. We're leaving the med kits alone for the moment. I doubt that we'll need them during the mission. But honestly, what you get. Got it. For, uh, you know, picking up excess med kits is honestly kind of inconsequential. So, yeah, I'm not going to miss too much of that money if I don't get it. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. 
He's that being so impatient. Here's the young man. Young Krogan. Does not sound as good. I will turn this mission around if you don't shut up. I'm not even sure what that means, but damn it, it's happening. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. That should be everything barring the med kits. So let's do this. First the Krogan conquered Tachanka and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Alright, so. Here they come. I'm ready. You think you're ready? You're not really ready. I'll tell you when you're ready. Actually, you know what? I said you run around with your big bad shotgun. And so yeah, pretty much what this mission includes entail or entails is enemies just repeatedly spawn and you just kill them. <laughs> oh hi. Though, so, this, this is kind of a boring mission. Also, while we were waiting for loading screens and uh, watching, well, you guys are watching cutscenes. I've seen that cutscene numerous times. They'll all die. This mission is actually can be a little glitchy. Not any of the like, game breaking, but it is possible that the I believe it's a second wave. One of the enemies can end up spawning wrong and make the mission almost impossible to complete unless you know a little trick. So I've already seen the cutscene a couple of times. Took the moment to do some research, and the other merchant, the one we were looking at that had all the expensive upgrades. They... Here they come. I'm where ready. are they at? Okay, they're actually coming. Okay, I was say, is it, is it is it glitching out? Okay, no, it's not doing that yet. Okay, it's the second wave. But yeah. It will act... You actually get the discount for the second mission by finishing Grunt's mission. So that actually works out well for us then. Hell yeah. One more. By the way, this is the reason I'm. These beasts will know I'm worthy. The reason I'm mostly sticking to this, part beyond the fact that just a damn good gun. But since the enemies here are all pretty weak and all melee focused anyway, my normal run. strategies don't really give me much of an advantage. And there is a reason to want to uh, make sure you're good with long range weapons here. Ready for another round, Shepard. The keystone. So, let's go tag the keystone and get ready for round two. So the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. An enemy only we could chase to their lair. Crawlers, come to your death. No, we can't shoot that thing or fight it. Now, part of well, it's actually beneficial to fight these things at long range because they have a propensity for exploding. I uh, might want to actually have Rex not be right in melee range here. Uh -huh. uh, ah.
But as you can see, when these enemies die, well, except when frozen. Oh, no, okay, when frozen, they do explode. Never mind, forget what I was about to say. By the way, the AI here isn't terribly bright. Hi! Oh, I thought you pretty little fire-breathing monstrosities. No wonder the Krogan are also miserable and angry. Look what they have to go home to. Would you be happy if you had if this was what you had to look forward to whenever you go home? Wow, I knew Krogan had good melee, but wow, I was not expecting that. I was expecting that. One that just randomly flew through the air. What the heck happened there? I'll put them down. Oh, man, you're still there. You just haven't exploded yet. Right, the enemies explode. Ow, pain. Okay, so it wants us to hit the keystone again. We need to trigger the keystone to continue the right. Yes, we'll do that in a moment. I just want to make sure I make maximum profit on this mission. I think I've picked up all the med kits. Because this is the third and final wave, and med kits will not the help keystone. you. We must have to trigger it again for the next part of the right. I'm not dumb, Grunt. You might be, but I'm not. Nah, everyone knows Krogan could actually be very intelligent. I mean, admittedly, Rex pretty seems pretty intelligent. Round, Shepard. Attack the keystone. Okay, so that looks to be all of the med kits. So for that whole, you know, extra 300 credits, that we really probably aren't going to do as much good. Now, all Krogan bear the genophage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. All right. So actually, quick change up of weapons. Feel that. Everything is shaking. Where are you? There we go. There we go. So yeah. Uh, yeah, Q and E, there we go. So yeah, we have to last five minutes or kill this bad boy. And so yeah, that's why I decided uh, Rick, or that uh, Grunt should be using his assault rifle. This thing has better defense or has better damage 
against armor, which this thing is all about the armor. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he can also destroy uh, the environment a little bit. Oh, I'm all out of ammo on that, okay. Rocks are going there. That is not the button I meant to press. I actually get an achievement for that. I already did it, so I already have the achievement. No fancy pop-up. We have company. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My crant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. Wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction, just the warlord of Kier. Come on, Ubank. You want to try killing him? Give it your best shot. Not yet. This deserves consideration. Why? I'm not getting any more natural. You are powerful. You are a mistake. But your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadotog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your right of passage tip that balance, too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Ulrich, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. So, who didn't see that? Who saw that one? The, who didn't see that one coming? By the way, random thing. I'll let them fight for a moment. Random little detail here. If there we, no, that's not it. Another part of the map, maybe? I swear there's something around here where if you look at it, like a little plaque, and it's basically blatant filler texture, you know, just. Ah, there we go. Lots of very small text put. But basically, it's like, it's basically this little message that, like, the developers are basically like, let's just put a bunch of small text here, because that makes sense, and we need to put something on this texture. It really does, it had nothing to do with anything, it doesn't change anything. But it's one of those nice, uh, amusing little 
Easter eggs or whatever you want to call it. Watch me phase through your bullets. And then punch you in the face. My chart is better than yours. Okay, I'm sure you guys can finish this off. Uh. Vegas meets. Let's signal at the Keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. I hope the was the one that got the last kill. <laughs> the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher mob fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnacht. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battlemaster. Shepard is my battlemaster. She has no match. Understood. Congratulations, or not Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. We can use this. So, Grunt is now officially Heard not Grunt. It's kind of the thing that I was talking about last time with the Quarians were. You know, family is such an important thing, but the name is considered last. But yet, Krogan, the la the clan name is first. But it doesn't seem like there's as much, you know, the clan loyalty, you know, family thing. But maybe it is, I don't know. Because I never really thought too much about Krogan society. Mostly I just like the fact that especially, you know, Battlemasters and Krogan vanguards, you know, just... Get in people's faces and punch things and use shotguns and be badass. Okay, need to calm down a moment. Anyway, so with of course that grunt got a new power fortification, which basically just gives a bonus to his shield temporarily. Nothing really to write home about. New armor, got a shotgun damage bonus. Always nice considering I love my shotguns. Ah, uh, we got some credits. So you know we got about thirty, almost thirty thousand credits. That's nice. Some platinum. Not sure what we'll be using it for, but that's cool too. I'm gonna use it on that uh, shotgun upgrade, I suppose. And then the way that it works with the uh, loyalty missions, or with the. That's right, I did! Oh yeah! Anyway, but yeah, so with the loyalty missions, as well as really any kind of side mission like that, but the loyalty missions are 90% of that, that happens on a hub world, you are sent back to the hub world at the end of the mission. So, we can go wander around here. Alright, okay, what's that you get to say? How much? Well, better than a dogfight in ages. I don't like this. There's no bookie. Just a terminal. You lose the human element. I drop five on the dumb-looking ugly one. Slow dogs always fight harder. And uh, you ask me, both of are pretty slow and dumb-looking. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, I mean, they look, both look pretty slow and dumb to me. Now let's try the white blue hope. Woo! We won! And we got... 
250 oh wait yeah we got 250 extra credits that's it step back my oh shut up yeah my fist wants to meet your face yes I did took lots of flaming ammo but I did it so yeah we've got a discount here hey hey shut up uh let's see uh, 75,000 50,000 I feel like biotic damage is probably going to be doing me more good. Probably, yeah. Plus 50, plus 40. Oh, wow. Hey, you haven't gotten a lot of shotgun damage upgrades. I guess I'll get this then. This looks interesting. And now we can't afford any of the other stuff. We can go buy the other armor components, I suppose, but I really don't want any of them. The most useful one is the uh, intimidation helmet or whatever it is. The uh, death mask or whatever that gives you a bonus to uh, intimidate and uh, charm checks. Don't know where the charm bonus comes from. Intimidate, I can understand, though. And since there's not a lot of those left for uh, the game here, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Plus, I need to craft the face. I like seeing the face. One of those things, like, I always like, I always like to have the, you know, dress my character, like, always leave the helmets on option. But I like seeing, you know, the character's face, so I tend not to wear helmets in RPGs and shortchange myself. Anyway. Okay, well, we're gonna head back to the ship here. Tune in next time where I honestly don't know what we're gonna be doing. Actually, I kind of do know. Maybe, possibly. But either way, tune in next time. We're, well, actually, now let's go back to the ship. Let's see how Grunt's feeling after doing his quest here. And I guess talk to Garrus too. Eh, I don't know. Might give us something to do next mission, next vid, next episode. Loading. All right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I have. Good for you, Admiral Zen. You, you, you do you, or whatever. I honestly don't care. Erd not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me. It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank-bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Alright. Nice talking to you, Grunt. Nice talking to you indeed. And Garrus is... Yeah, here. Bet he has anything interesting to say uh, about... Well, then again, he got to see, you know, Rex again. Uh, yeah, but he has nothing interesting to say. He's just going to gripe at us about his... I haven't his had a meal that good in a long time. 
I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Good for you. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Alright. Well, I guess that sets our uh, itinerary for the next episode. But, until then... Well, first we're going to go hit the upgrade terminal. Because I want to get my better shotguns. Yeah. I want you to write a song about better shotguns. Better shotguns sound like it would be a good song name. Actually, no, it doesn't. It sounds like a terrible. What do we have here? Shotguns. And wait, I have other things. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care about any of those. How about you? And I can't afford either of those. Oh, that's great. Alright. So we got shotgun damage. That crazy. But yeah, with that Commander, said, uh, we're gonna... Morden requests to see you. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Legion would like to speak to you in the AI core on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Right, well, we won't, because we're going to call this episode. Tune in next time, where... Well, I guess we're going to go head to the Citadel to help out Garrus. Or something. I don't know, anyway. Till then, as always. Later, folks.